Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola with MyGolfInstructor.com. To maximize your power, we want to make sure you're making at least a full turn, which for most people is going to be 90 degrees if your flexibility allows for that. The coil T drill is going to show you how to do it. How do you know if you're turning enough in the backswing? And how do you know if your backswing is long enough? Well, I always base the backswing not on the length of the arm swing, but on the length of a player's turn. So for instance, if I get a short, stocky guy and he's going to turn his shoulders 90 degrees, but his arms are only here, well, I consider that a full swing for him because for him to get that club up to the top, he's probably going to bend and break down and cause all sorts of other issues in his swing. Whereas if I get a tall, lanky guy, he makes a 90 degree shoulder turn, his arms might be all the way up at the top if he's flexible enough to get there. But the thing is, is we want to make sure that you are getting that full swing with your core. We want to make sure that you're getting those shoulders turned in your backswing so you can get some power, but also get that club in position. So how do you know if you're doing that, if you're doing enough? Well, what we're going to do is with, with this coil T drill is we're going to use the T that forms with the seam on your shirt. So if you're wearing a regular golf shirt, you're going to have a seam that runs down your shoulder and one that runs across he, here forming a T. So as we get to the top of the swing, you can see that T out of the corner of your eye. And I just want to make sure that I'm going to get that T at least to the golf ball and hopefully a little bit past it if I'm flexible enough to do it. So here's how the drill works. You're just simply going to set up to the ball, do two or three practice swings just up to the top, get to the top, check, look out of the corner of your eye, see if that T's there. If not, try to push it a little bit further. And again, just a couple times, just get used to the feel. Make sure you can kind of see that out of the corner of your eye, relate it to a feel, and then just go ahead and hit one. So here's how it's done. It's simple and it works.